Hi, my name is Robert. I'm one of the produce managers here at Down to Earth. Today we're going to be discussing our Produce Value Added Program. This program offers our customers the convenience of fresh cut fruits and vegetables in fresh, easy to grab containers. This allows some less than perfect produce to be saved and used without total waste. A clean workstation, ample area, processing sink, hand wash sink, sanitation solution, cleaner solution, hat or hairnet, proper tools, knives, cutting board, peeler, corer, knife sharpener, wizard glove, must always be worn when using a knife. Supplies, containers and lids, scale, scale printer. Fresh cut fruit processing involves peeling, trimming, and deseeding of ripe, fresh produce and cutting into specific uniform size pieces. Ununiform sizing is unappealing to customers. Fresh cut fruit must look fresh and have eye appeal in the packaging. Frequent sharpening of knives, proper cleaning, and sanitizing of equipment is essential to a successful program. Good hygiene practices must strictly be observed during cutting operations. Hands must be washed frequently. All containers must have a use-by date. We are using four days from cutting. Produce that you've culled throughout the day can be used for fresh cut and should be saved in a specific place. The rest of the items needed for fresh cut are taken off the rack using the most blemished items first. Always demo product by using the oldest dated containers uh, to demo. First, cut top and bottom of pineapple leaving two flat ends. Now, to get rid of husk, cut a quarter inch to a half inch around the pineapple or as much as needed to be left with just the fruit itself. Cut into four wedge shaped pieces. Now cut a quarter inch to a half inch from the peak of the wedge. This is to get rid of the dense fibrous core of the pineapple. Cut wedge in thirds long ways. Now make one inch cuts short ways down the pineapple. First, cut stem and blossom ends off so you're left with two flat ends. Let melon stand on one end and using a sharp knife begin to cut the outer skin of melon. Follow the curvature of the fruit so you can get as much fruit as possible. You should be left with a red ball of melon. Now cut melon in half, horizontally. Now cut melon vertically with one inch spaces between cuts. Cut end pieces separately. Discard any misshapen pieces. Continue to cut in pieces into one inch squares. Again, discarding any misshapen pieces. Lay each cut flat, stack to speed up process. 
uh, and cut length and width one inch by one inch. First cut mango stem and tip off. Now using a peeler, peel off the outer skin of the mango. Standing mango upright, cut along each side of mango seed, making sure to get as much mango meat as you can. Lay mango slices flat and cut into quarter inch to inch cubes depending on the size of the mango. Trim edges discarding any misshapen pieces. First cut both ends of papaya. Now using a peeler, peel off outer skin of papaya. Stand papaya upright and cut in half. Scoop out seeds using a spoon. Lay papaya flat and cut into half inch to one inch slices. Now cut papaya horizontally into one inch cubes. First, cut off both ends of melon. Now, let melon stand on one flat end and using a sharp knife, begin to cut the outer skin of melon. Make sure to follow the curvature of the melon to get as much of the fruit as possible. Now, cut melon in half vertically. Scoop out seeds using a spoon. Lay melon half down on flat side and cut one inch slices. Make sure to discard any misshapen pieces. Cut melon horizontally to make one inch cubes. Once fruit are cut properly, place pieces into containers. Carefully take handfuls of fruit at a time, making sure to get as much into the container without smashing. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, ask your produce manager.